What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So this is what Burmese breakfast looks like. Here we go. So I'm gonna bring you to a local tea house, which I think is the best in my neighborhood. So yeah, this is it. So guys, this is what a typical, you know, Burmese tea house setup looks like. We have free, free flow tea, some cups, and some tissues, and then yeah, you just order from the waiter. There's no menu or anything, none anywhere. Yeah, so you you need to really know what you're ordering. Burmese breakfast. So what do we have here? We have some tea, milk tea. So you, this is like a special one. If you have a spoon, it's like a normal version of it. But yeah, I just like to go for this, and there's not much price of price difference. So yeah, we have that. We have mixed noodle salad, which is absolutely my favorite. We have samosa. We have this is like a donut. So like a long donut, long donut. Um, this is what we call ichakwe. In Singapore, we also call it yu tiao. And another classic that um, not my favorite, but every locals love it. It's like the fried rice and just sunny side up. But yeah, we like to you know overcook our sunny sunny side up. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorite, which is the noodle salad, which have a bunch of different noodles. We have potatoes, we have cucumbers, we have cabbage, and all the different spices inside it, and then it's mixed together with like a turmeric sauce. I think they are using that, hopefully. Ah, sorry, not turmeric, turmeric sauce. And yeah, we're gonna give it a try. This is so good guys Every flavor that you can imagine is all inside and I like the different texture of the cabbage the cucumber potato and different types of noodle so this is absolutely my go-to so if you guys want to order this it's called a tok a song tok and yeah you can tell them like a different spicy level i went for the the most spicy one and it's a little bit too spicy for me right now but i still love it i still love it we're gonna move on to the next one which is also my absolute favorite which is samosa these are all handmade you know they are all handmade during at night and then they fried it in the morning and this is one of the the best samosa out there um, yeah, Eunice was here a few months back and she had like two plates of this. Samosa guys. So basically, in this kind of neighborhood uh, tea houses, for samosa, the main ingredient is just gonna be like uh, potato and onion. But if you go, if you guys go and have like 
you know, uh, in some other tea houses, which are in the city area, I think they'll have some different kind of vegetables, some meats, even possible. We have tried some uh, mutton samosa, which is absolutely lovely. I'll try to explore more of that, but yeah. The local one, they are pretty cheap. They make for the, you know, for the neighborhood. So yeah, you, you're just gonna get potato and onion, but it's still a nice, a nice samosa. So this right here, Ichakwe, is the absolute signature of this cafe. Nobody else does it better than them. Somehow, I, I think I'm gonna show you a bureau of the making of Ichakwe first, and then I'm gonna try it. So when you want to have this, this is like the ultimate combination milk tea and the ichakwe you tell um, when you want to like have this for breakfast you might want to you know order like a sweeter version of the milk tea so I'm gonna do another video on the milk tea itself because there's like a ton of like you know flavors and like taste profile for the milk tea but yeah if you're having this combo you want to order a sweeter version of the milk tea so first of all you break up break this up and then you just dip this in then you go for it it's sweet it's chewy and uh, it's just like a perfect you know like a bread like a donut kind of breakfast here in Myanmar and this is this is absolutely childhood I love eating this you can eat this during lunch dinner anytime you want but Mostly, it's only available during breakfast, so yeah, we have this for breakfast. Amazing, guys. I'm already full but the next dish the ultimate the locals favorite is gonna be you know eaten by my fellow cameraman so yeah let's see what he thinks about the breakfast okay <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let me just do the narrative for him so we have like a classic sunny side up fried egg just right there a little bit overcooked for sunny side up. The ultimate chili. This is yeah. This, one, this is the favorite man. Without this, this whole dish is nothing. So you need to have this. And some uh, like a sour cabbage with onion. Alright, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Alright. Good. And the cabbage. Nice. Oh, yeah. I think there's like a, what he's trying to say, there's like lemon on the fried rice, the classic one. They will have chickpeas, which is absolute a must for this kind of fried rice. My. My. Classic. So that is it guys. Oh, there's more items on the menu but this is as far as I can go, as far as I can eat and yeah I will make this kind of series like Burmese breakfast series more often hopefully but yeah it, I'm gonna get back to my food before they get you know cold and yeah we'll, we'll talk
talk about it more later on. <coughs> so I just got my change back and for all these for two person it comes down to one dollar USD maybe like one dollar and ten cent but wow guys one dollar for all that that's I think that's a pretty good deal So guys, that's it for this vlog and yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. I really enjoyed that breakfast. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.